This week's Keeping It Green, Ian Wallace looks at the outcome of Climate Conference COP28 for the sectors of energy, education, and food. At discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. A warmer atmosphere needs more power for cooling. Inefficient cooling uses significantly more electricity, however. The UN aims to reduce the power consumption of cooling equipment, take the pressure off the energy grids and save trillions of dollars by 2050. A new report called the Global Cooling Watch was released at COP28 by the UN's Environment Programme-led Cool Coalition. The Global Coordinator of Cool Coalition says it lays out sustainable cooling measures in three areas. Implementing passive cooling, uh, improving energy efficiency standards and norms, and a fast phase down of HFCs. Taken together and aligned, these three measures can allow us to slash emissions by 60% and deliver significant savings for consumers and for the power sector, while allowing us to get universal access to cooling. Climate change-induced disasters also negatively impact education. Yasmin Sharif of the organization Education Cannot Wait funds education in emergencies and longer-term crises. The YAS came out with a new figure of 62 million children and adolescents whose education is disrupted as an immediate and direct consequence of climate change. Sharif adds, education needs investment during climate change. If we do not invest in education, both for preventive purposes reparative purposes and, and for the future to mitigate, um, I think all the billions that we are putting into climate change is, is, is lost money. Meantime, according to Inga Anderson of the United Nations Environment Programme, climate change also affects the food on our plates. So the reason why we're talking about food and food systems at each COP, but especially at this COP where we really raised it, is because the food that we produce also has a carbon footprint. Climate science shows global greenhouse gas emissions need to be cut 43% by 2030 compared to 2019 levels to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News. Exercising to get fit and healthy, going to the rivers and beaches to spend time with the family, yet you're leaving the place dotty dotty. What if Chancellor Buko, the Savannah, or one of the streets by we, let us reduce, reuse, and recycle and clean up the country? No matter your age or gender, everyone can be a good defender. Get into green with Swim Call. It was the month before Christmas, the season of chaos, and Donna was worried. She wasn't ready for Christmas. But the everything plan she signed up for one day marked the beginning of gig speeds and the season of giveaways. Home makeovers, groceries, tech, and cash galore for paying her bill and switching to more. What were the chances, Donna thought with a blush. Flo truly meant it when they'd said, Christmas is on us.